Well, you'd expect the telltale to jump around or at least not point straight back at me. But it I just came across this video on YouTube of this guy being bet by a physics professor that this car would not actually be able to go faster than the speed of wind. And at first I thought, yeah, that makes sense. The, the law of loss of thermodynamics essentially says that you cannot create energy. But then I actually sat and thought about it and realized that yes, this is possible. And it's all in the design of the car. If you look, the car is all long and narrow. I'm gonna use this TV remote as an example. Now there are two factors that are going to resist energy on this vehicle. The air drag on the front of it and the drag from the tires on the ground. If you notice, the tires are very, very thin, which are doing two things. One, very little contact patch on the ground, which is going to decrease your coefficient of friction to the ground. As well, it's super narrow, so now you have less of a surface area for the wind to hit to create more air drag. Now let's say the surface area of the resisting material is a third of the size of one of the fan blades. That means that the drag that gets put into that electric motor, because that's what the fan is doing, as it spins, it's taking your air drag and converting it to electricity through that electric motor. Use that as a unit of measurement, okay? A unit of electricity is enough to overcome the coefficient of drag of the rest of the vehicle. It means that on top of the energy that you are consuming in order to push that vehicle forward, you are also creating more energy than it needs. Because assuming that each one of those blades is three times the size of the surface area of the front of the vehicle, you're creating nine times the amount of energy that you need. And you're only consuming one and a half. I can't remember off the top of my head if wind resistance is logarithmic, but that doesn't really matter. It's kind of a one-to-one -one relationship to the fans because as you increase speed, the fan is gonna harness more energy. So not only could you accelerate, you can actually store energy with this if you were to put a battery in, but then you're increasing weight, which then also increases your coefficient of drag. But that's also not a perfect representation because there is going to be heat loss through that fan. So, I mean, there is going to be a theoretical top speed based on what the efficiency of that turbine is. You'll eventually get to the point where you can no longer create enough energy to continue accelerating. I just find it hilarious though that Neil deGrasse is like, this doesn't make any sense to me. It's like, yeah, because modern science is too narrow-minded. Just like it was when Edison was around. He was called a crackpot too. This works on the same principle that wind sails and turbines work on. If they didn't work, this wouldn't work. Alrighty guys, I love y'all. Y'all beautiful. I hope you have a great day. Okay, bye.